Hi there, welcome to another edition here on Bustanet. These are the LLM Diaries. Yes, and we're off to a fantastic start. Five wins um, for this uh, team called Gloucester City. It's been an interesting season and there's a lot of things that I'm coming to realize about LLM football as well. I haven't been playing it for a long time and I have to thank my patrons for encouraging me to do an LLM save. Unfortunately, um, it's also one of those saves that takes a really long time. So it consumes your life, basically. So I want to thank them all for getting something to consume my life. Yes, I would like to remind everybody that there are new chapters that are coming out very soon for Bustanet, my football manager's guide. I will be talking about in the new chapters, there's uh, one about developing your squad personality. I also deal with uh, the modern pressing game. Uh, looking at Guardiola's pressing style, Sachi's pressing style, Jurgen Klopp's pressing styles, and then on top of that, I'm also I also develop um, strategies for playing the deep diagonal and the deep counter. Uh, so all those new chapters are coming out in the next update for the book, and I'd like to thank all of you for taking the time out to support that book. But back here now <laughs> with my LLM safe. This is not going well, guys. You may think that I have one, two, three, four, five. Five wins, but trust me, it's not going well. Against Barrow, we had to score first. Defend like crazy. I can't keep doing this for the rest of the season. Okay, Against Gates Head, we had to score first. Defend like crazy. Okay, Look, this, this uh, Chelmsford and Morecambe were anomalies. Eldershot, another match, you know. Defend like crazy. So I'm beginning to see a pattern emerge with my 5-2-3. Now the 5-2-3 has been changed. I, do ha I have changed it uh, slightly because right now one of these guys is a defensive, plays more or less like a defensive midfielder. And um, I don't play a roam from positions because it's just too dangerous for me to play roam from positions. But now we're playing against a team called Chester. Yes, Mr. Chester. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to cheer myself up because these matches are getting harder and this is a long, long season and Chester is 300 to 1 so we should be beating them, right? But let's look at Chester's senior squad and let's look at how they've been playing. They haven't been playing like, uh, you know, you know they've been playing badly. They've been playing quite well. At home, they've been hammering teams with a 4 2 uh, with a four two three one. 2 one So they play an extremely robust attacking game at home. All right, and uh, away from home, yeah, they they also played a four two three one. So I I was like you know watching some of the highlights and I noticed one thing they have this uh, sometimes they switch into a three five two yeah they switch to a five three two. So now I I'm be playing a team that actually plays a bit like us. You know they go out attacking and then they come they hold and defend like crazy. So what am I going to do? So we have all these players set up. Um, I've got uh, Hilliard on attacking duty, Marlins here, Thomas Hanks, Diagner, Damon, Pooley, Okito, Stratton and Alassani. So this is the lineup that we're going to use. And we're going to have to be very um, aware of the dangers that are coming in our, our way. I've actually dropped somebody into a DM call because the previous system was just, uh, there, there wasn't anybody here and it was just too risky. So this gives me problems in this area when I want to do transitions. It's not they're not very good. At the back, yeah, I've got Odero. I think Odero is legit. So we have uh, our own issues at the back. And um, Perry Ryan is back. He was a uh, he had a red card in the last game, so he will come on for Zach Kotwicka and Zach Kotwicka and he'll play in place of Darren Mullins. Uh, let's just give. Uh, yeah. I need Hillard, so he'll play in place of Darren Mullins. Now this is uh, the setup of the team, and we're going to try and take this game to them. Uh, we're not going to work ball into box. We're going to play like this. We're going to pass into space, take a few chances, and hopefully, you know, that four-two-three-one leaves some pockets of space here. Another thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to OI. I'm going to use OI on their two central midfielders, so we have to try different things against them. So at home, these boys are playing a 4-2-3-1 against us. You know, sometimes you, you need to... Life is about adapting. We adapt every single day. We're creatures of, you know, human beings adapt. So we're going to have to adapt to this game. So I was right. They're playing a 4-2-3-1. I've already checked their ratings in the last game. Average, the average was high 7s. Everybody's a high 7. And there goes my phone again. 
Okay. Submit the team. Let's go, boys. Let's have fun. Let's find out. <laughs> Gloucester are good. Seriously. Okay. Gloucester, this is a pre match analysis with Jack Walters on the Mirror Football. .co.uk okay. Obviously the pundits seem to think that he's an idiot. <laughs> That's what I believe these things are like. Alright, sure. This is what we're gonna do to Shaw. We're not gonna give him any time on the ball. Okay, we're gonna show him on the wrong foot. We're just gonna we're just gonna keep him occupied. And tight marking on Shaw as well. And Marrow as well. Tight marking on Marrow. No time on the ball. Close him down. This is one of the matches where I will. I may have a problem. So yes, we're gonna give them a problem too. Nemecha, he'll have to be tight mark and shown onto wrong foot because he's actually one of the one of the good. Uh, he's pretty good. Show onto wrong foot for Hunt. We're gonna just force them in into our congested area because we'll close him down as well. Right now the goalkeeper, uh -huh, let's bully the keeper. Okay, let's not give him any time on the ball, and then assholes will close on the back line. The two central defenders will put some pressure on them too. Yeah, I'm closing on them. Who's gonna? Uh, the only people who can close them down are gonna be my two strikers up front. So yeah, it's a matter where they are on the pitch to get closed down. All right, set piece takers. Joe Hanks, you haven't been set up yet, so we'll set you up. And then we need to look at the free kicks because apparently my attacking routines aren't, aren't set up. Yeah, load. And the other one. Okay, we're done. So we've done everything. Um, everything's set up. They're gonna come attacking at me, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play very fluid. Ah, uh, no, we're gonna play flexible, not very fluid. Then I, if I'm playing very fluid, then I can't really take advantage of the spaces. Okay, so we're also gonna go wide and pass into space. Here we go, we have other side of match. Good luck, boys. Nimcha to Vickers, Vickers to Hunt. Let's see how the boys do right now, sure. Uh, back to Marrow. Marrow to Vickers. Vickers has players on him already. Sure. Vickers now. To Marrow. Oh, Marrow. He was trying to get the ball out, but it was a problem. Marrow now. To Vickers. Vickers to Shaw. Shaw to Nimichair. Nimichair has got players on him. Damon as well. Alright. Uh, that's a good, good defensive uh, huddle from the boys. Hangs out wide to Okitu. Okitu cuts inside. He plays it out to Thomas. Oh, looking good, boys. Thomas runs at the defense. Finds Hilliard. Hilliard to Stratton. Stratton to Alsani. Alsani shoots, forces the save from Lynch. Okay. <laughs> Alright, maybe this closing down and tight marking is helping us as well. Okay, Hanks. Corner. In Diego's diagonal. Lynch picks this up. Lynch launches the ball. Prematurely to Puli. I wanted to say something else, but I just thought it'd be quiet because there might be children watching the show. Okay, Chess Bear Singh with the ball. Now, can this boy do something between the post today and keep everybody at bay? Hughes, that was a terrible pass on Puli. It only gets to Nimichair. Nimichair, yep, he's a mile away. Oh, he can if he keeps doing that the whole way I'm fine. The one thing good about my tactic, and I've gone into the stats, I seen a majority of the shots that people take. You know, in a game, if they are like the only twenty percent of their shots actually happen from inside the box. Every other shot seems to be from outside the box, which is good for us. Which means that we have to continue to press them and make sure they don't cross early. Nimitzer to hunt. Oh no, wide. The boys are doing pretty well for the first couple of minutes. Uh, we have had one shot at goal. And uh, Chester, oh, not bad overall. Pretty good battle in midfield. Huh? Waters with a free kick. Nimicha. Nimicha. I don't know how to pronounce his name. 
If you're looking at ratings for both the teams, are pretty even. So it's a really even fight between Chester and Gloucester City at the moment. Hanks does well with the ball, gets it to Hilliard. Hilliard to Alessani. Alessani holds up the ball for Stratton. Stratton shoots, can't get a shot off. Gets it to Hilliard, picks it up, goes backwards. He's got two on him. Pooley now, playing in place of Odero. Odero is injured. Ryan, Ryan. Mm. I was so excited. I thought there was a really good spell of pressure from Gloucester City who have now gotten a bit of a grip on midfield and still Matthew Walters and Alex Merrill they're having a very good game uh, both of them six plus Tom Shaw is now looks like he's struggling a bit 6.6 .6. Pulley clears the danger only as far as Alessani Alessani now is off he's got options he will Duh, you will not get the ball in. Thomas with the ball. Oh, he's going to cross it to Hilliard. Hilliard he's, gives it back to Thomas. Can you do a cross, Thomas? He passes it to Hilliard. Hilliard, well, he's trying his best, the youngster. This is a very young team. Ryan out to Oketo. Oketo crosses it early. And they clear the danger. First half looking pretty decent for Gloucester City. The favourites, Chester, uh, haven't been able to cover any decent shot on target yet. Uh, Gloucester have had quite a few shots blocked by the defense. Okay, not too bad. First half. I think the boys are doing quite well. Calm and keep going out there. You can still win. Yes, I, I don't believe it. I actually was expecting to lose this game uh, because Chester's averages as a 4-2-3-1 are pretty high. And 3-5-2 um, can play well against a 4-2-3-1, provided you have good, you know, you've got good defenders. But we don't really have very good defenders, so we're very lucky at the moment. Joe Hanks. And we are, we are trying to make it harder for them. Waters, Nemechia, but still, it's still early days. They shoot wide. So we, we're using closing down and uh, tight marking on the two central players. I'm actually observing their ratings. Shaw and Mero are now 6.5. But Alex Mero is suddenly sh beginning to... Okay, that's it. Time for a pause for a course. They've changed things around. Um, the players in the middle are now 14 and 16. Uh, that will be Mero and Johnny Hunt. So we're going to have to... They've moved the... The AI has moved things around. They've taken off Shaw. Shaw wasn't having such a good game so we have to target the opposition player uh, this will be Johnny Hunt now he'll be tight marked closed down and shown onto wrong foot okay corner for Waters Thomas clears that out to Mahon Mahon, Mahon. to Waters plays it to Mahon back to Hunt to Merrill. Oh, this is Nemchia. He's not going to miss from there. Damn it. <laughs> uh, we did so well for so long. Uh, they've gone and scored a brilliant goal. Well worked. Patient goal. They pulled us apart. Yeah, they did. They did really well. I mean, I thought I had enough players to hold them down. But Nemchia, you know, he got past Damon. That was just too easy an opportunity for Nemchia not to miss. Okay, we played okay. I'm disappointed. All right, this means we go into attack both flanks. We have to get the ball. We have to get uh, this back now. Okay. Um, Here we go. Then he gives it to Stratton. Stratton. Well, Stratton will play to Hilliard. Hilliard has somebody out wide in Kieran Thomas. Thomas out wide. Can he cross? He crosses it in and it's oh my god. Alasani missed from point blank range. Ah, uh, this is unfortunate. Charlie Stratton is not injured, he's carrying a dead leg. Oh, this is this is getting from bad to worse for us. Uh, we don't really have another striker to play in his stead. We'll have to bring on uh, young Bradley Isaacs then. 
Well, they've switched, but they've gone into a defensive huddle. So we have to try and break this uh, huddle right now. We've, gone, we've done everything that we can do. Um, I could roll from positions, but don't think that's going to make much of a difference. Pass into space very fluid won't make much of a difference either. So that's, I mean, that's my own personal opinion, though. Hunt. Oh, Kitu, Isaacs now. Back to Puli. Puli will play to Kieran Thomas. Kieran Thomas to Ryan. Ryan has options. He finds Alsani, Als but the ball is picked up. Bradley Isaacs has scored from way, way out there. The youngster has come on. I don't believe it. Yes. What a goal from Bradley Isaacs. Oh, my Lord. The interceptor of the ball, Isaacs is there, he has nothing else he can do, he just lines one up and he smashes it home. Bradley Isaacs has brought Gloucester City level, Nimitsha to Horwood, Horwood to Tatum, Tatum, he's got uh, Okitu just next to him, he tries to get it past him, Vickers now, back to Tatum. He's got pressure, they're under pressure, Hughes, Damon, Alabi, oh, whisker, whisker. That's all I can say. Pussycats. Okay. Gloucester City have been able to get one back, but we are still under a lot of pressure. Wickers, why haven't I changed my <laughs> team? <laughs> yes, I knew it. I just was asked, about to ask, why haven't I changed my settings? I, I was, I was so, I was so enthralled by what's happening. I didn't notice that. So we pass into space. No work ball into box. Yes, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, slightly higher, that work. Correct. Okay. I forgot all about it. I was like sitting down there, going, "Oh, yeah, it's about time I changed." Okay. We might have to just be content with the point here. Th Kieran Thomas with a throw to Hillard. Hillard, he does well. Guess it. Perry Ryan. Perry Ryan shoots. Oh my goodness. We would have, we would, may have just had the opportunity, couldn't, uh, if I had scored, my tongue would have been tied up in so many ways, I'd probably be making sounds like, like that for the next <laughs> few minutes of the show. Ah, Tatum with a throw to Waters, Waters of Howard, Damon clears the danger. Offside for James Alabi, but that should be it, ref, come on, he's already played one and a half extra minutes. Yes, Chester won, Gloucester City won. Gloucester City have been able to come back and force a, force a point. That was a good performance. They were unlucky, but they played well. So in this match, it was a very interesting match. Uh, OI, I think my opposition instructions, they worked. Uh, we managed to shut down the right players. Uh, Tom Shaw was taken off. He was taken off because... Uh, his ratings were really bad, 6.5, and they also took uh, Mero on the other end. He had a very good game. We couldn't do much against them. Uh, 6.9, one assist, naturally, that will give you a very high rating. And his replacement uh, for Tom Shaw, Johnny Hunt, came on 6.7, which is okay. Our team, well, Reese Alsani had a really bad game. That's 6.3, largely down, probably down to the, you know, the colossal miss he had from point blank. Uh, when he sh should have done better to score. At the back, you can see Dean Pooley as a 6.4. Uh, so I, I do believe that he makes a fair few mistakes and he shouldn't be playing for us. Joe Hank 6.6, .6, not a very good game, 6.7. So basically, my best players were Kieran Thomas on the flanks today and uh, Lewis Hillard down the middle. So on the whole, we did okay. Uh, not fantastically well, but still, you know, I managed to escape uh, this tricky games I just had which uh, included one really tough match against Barrow and now Chester finally uh, we are able to play or uh, force a team into a really boring game <laughs> this was a good match for us okay still I'm, I'm a bit I'm a bit worried going forward because I don't know how long we can keep this up because um, our our system isn't isn't fantastic it is not that good. I mean, uh, it's defensively set up to be defensive, set up to hit on the counter. It's, it's going to use deep diagonals and deep counter attacks. Uh, a lot of them will have to come from this player, Hank. So maybe I'm going to change his role into a DLP. 
Yeah, so it will be on defense. So he will have to start stringing passes from really deep, and we've got these players up front to take to take advantage of that. Up front, um, so far Alassani has been scoring well, but this tactic on the whole, it's okay. It's not fantastic. It's not one of my best. Well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of the LLM Diaries. Uh, I hope the, that you could see a different style of play in the sense that uh, you don't often see me using opposition instructions. And this time, I use them against a 4-2-3-1 where I don't want the, them to have um, overpower me in the middle. I didn't want that to happen because it has happened before. I have seen teams that play a 4-2-3-1 against me and they can overpower us. And they have a very good fluid attack as well. Uh, quite a lot of players, they are thrown into attack. So my three-man defense at the back, while he can handle some of that, they're not that good uh, to handle a lot. So we were lucky in this game, I would say. Extremely lucky that we did not, uh, you know, lose this match. I was very worried that we would. Opposition instructions actually came in to work quite well for us. And when you want to use opposition instructions, you got to be... I tend to use them specifically in games where I think that I can have an edge. I think I'm going forward, I'm probably going to be using a lot more opposition instructions with um, with Gloucester City because this might just be the um, tipping point for them. The difference between a win and a loss or a draw, a point and no points. So this could be it. And we have to start planning games and looking at how we're going to use that in further games. I like to use opposition instructions some of the time because there are certain opposition instructions that are really cool. Okay, you got tight marking. You don't use tight marking on... If your players have got... If you're marking somebody or you're trying to mark someone who has got very off the ball, tight marking probably is not going to work because he's going to turn and beat you with acceleration if he is playing in an A role, you know, attacking duty. Uh, closing down, if you close down a it's better to close down and sometimes I feel that is the better way but if you have too many players closing down one target then sometimes you you, you see like you know a pack of wolves hopping onto one player and then leaving the whole world open so if you want to choose to close down make sure that you close down a player who's got low composure low, low decisions so those are the players that you know they don't handle the ball well under pressure when it comes to tackling I'll use that very carefully because this can see a lot of yellow cards so if you want to hard tackle someone, I tend to hard tackle players who have low match conditioning. Um, that way, they sometimes they may make a decision in the game not to actually go for the challenge. So the, op the AI may not choose to challenge for the ball. So as you go in, he might give up the ball. So sometimes that might even happen. I have seen it happen once or twice and I and I do that once in a while. But I, this is one I don't use a lot of you know I, unless it's a desperate situation where i think that somebody really needs to be contained show on two foot now this is a very interesting instruction now why do i like show on two foot show on two foot is actually one of those uh, opposition instructions that allows you to funnel an attack so if you have players on the flank and they're inside forwards for example and they're playing on their favorite foot they're cutting inside on their favorite foot now if you show them onto the wrong foot if their favorite foot is a left foot okay and they're coming in from the right they are now being shown onto the other foot so it means that there's a player standing inside so you are forcing him to go wide so that's one option that you can take so you, you gotta uh use show onto foot intelligently i this i like this but i've seen people they use show onto foot like a blanket oh uh, if if it's if it's a blanket oh i then really you have to be very careful i've not really used ois a lot in um, the last season but i might be using them a bit more in this season in order for us to survive a bit longer and uh, i'm also going to come up with a strategy for that december period where everybody has a bad run what are we going to do and i'm probably going to do another i'm going to do one short show on that as well a quick guide on how to handle the december the november december january period for clubs because that is the point where most people seem to have an issue including me i mean i have an issue too during that period if you saw last season we lost quite a few games but the question is it, if you think losing a few games is bad, then then it's a bit sad because we are going to struggle during that period of time. So it's how we manage our team and the resources that we have. And there's a lot that goes into it. And I'd rather cover them in a quick guide than to talk about them in two minutes here. So I want to thank everybody, uh, all my patrons for tuning in. 
uh, your donations are keeping the channel going and giving me enough juice to get more stuff done so i'd like to thank all of you once again and if you have any questions you know what you can find me at twitter at bustanet or addicted to fm.com if you want to have more information on how to get my book bustanet a football manager's guide then please visit www.patron.com slash bustanet for now i'm gonna sign off you have a good one take care god bless bye bye